Hello, Tamily. It's time for episode 153 of Ask Tamily. And our guest today is going to be Lindsay. She'll be joining us in a second. You can, of course, type in any questions throughout and we'll scroll through to make sure that we ask all of them. So go ahead and type them in anytime. And Lindsay's Instagram handle is Lindsay all right underscore TA and we are joining with her right now hello hey thank you so much for joining us Lindsay we're so excited for you to be interview 153 yay happy Sunday thanks for having me I'm uh excited to join the ranks of the girls uh of the 152 before me, so this is fantastic. I'm excited. Thank you, we are too. So if you're good with it, we'll go ahead and jump right in with some of our planned questions. And then of course, we'll take questions from the chat if we get any there as well. Okay, cool. And let me preface by saying, this is really fantastic. What, what you guys have done here for the Tamily, by the Tamily, is just a really, really neat thing. Um, and so I, I'm very grateful for, to even be a part of this and to be able to watch, you know, the other, the other ladies go on before me. And so uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that you're doing such a great job and I'm very uh, thankful for your efforts and all the time that you put into this. Cause I know that we've all got real jobs, workouts and other things that we've got to be doing. So thank you again for having me. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. That's so sweet. We absolutely love it. Like. I don't know. It's my favorite thing. Even though, of course, it takes a little bit of coordination and organizing, we love being able to do this for the community. We'll do it forever and ever. Good. Yay. Good. So um, let's get to know you a little bit more. Why don't we start with when and how did you start doing the Tracy Anderson method? So um, I actually just had my Tracy Anderson birthday. It was June eleventh, twenty twenty one. So I'm a I'm one of the 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 dime girls that have been here for ten years. <laughs> um, and uh, I was just telling you earlier that I had found Tracy's uh, like an article, and I think it was Self dot you know or Self magazine or Women's mm -hmm. Health. I think it was Self. And uh, I seen like a little you know like cut out or excerpt of her doing like a chair exercise or something. And I was like, wow, that's really different. And she's so cute, right? And I didn't know anything about her. So I started to do some research and then eventually found metamorphosis online and, and thus began the journey. So long, uh, long story short, uh, about 10 years. That's amazing. Yeah, it's been a good ride. So um, once you started doing meta, did you go to continuity after that or what did your journey look like? I did. Yeah, I got into year two um, and then I had, I think I had year three, but I, I have not del delved into that because then streaming started to become available. So, and then there were some times where I'd have to like start back over and then go, you know, and so I never really got into year three, but then streaming started to take over and that was a whole new adventure in itself. So yeah, it went from, um, uh, meta to continuity and then streaming. Okay. So um, from when you first started and then maybe like when you've transitioned to the different workouts, what kind of results have you seen both physical and non-physical? I have been, well, and, and that's a deep question because it's, it is twofold, right? Like you can't really, you can talk about one and, and be very surface level. Um, but I like the way that Tracy is, is talking about the, the work in with the workout. And it's, and it's so true. You know, I think that if we're doing our workouts for, I don't want to say the wrong reasons because it, you know, there are health benefits, but you know, if we're doing it solely for those kind of vanity reasons of having like a perky booty or, you know, <laughs> whatever, we all, we can all have that too, but there's also kind of the, the other uh, benefits too. But to start out, I had, you guys remember this, this old thing? Yes. Yeah. So we got that with our packet and um, I was looking back and my 10 day results, remember like all the infomercials were like, oh, it's 10 days, you'll be amazed and or what, however she worded it. 
And I lost um, five pounds and five inches. Oh my gosh. Wow. In today, yeah. And so, and I wasn't even that, you know, huge of a girl that, you know, I, I was maybe one, 140. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, for, for my body type, you know, it wasn't, mm -hmm. but still that's fantastic. And so yeah. it, it started out there and then I hit 90 day results and then it just kind of continued to, to get better from there as well. Um, and then as far as probably the, you know, the, the inside results is I just really started to experience like better focus. Um, if I had a hard week coming up, like a lot of business meetings or, or something like I would be able to prepare for a meeting on the mat and then also kind of like unwind and decompress from like a week on the mat. So it was good before and after. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was looking back through my posts and something that I don't think gets enough credit is posture. Mm. You know, like I, I had my first baby and there's a lot of bending over and breastfeeding and, and just holding and carrying and doing all this stuff, you know, balancing and um, doing Tracy, it really opens you back up and just, and kept this center very open. So um I'll see some of my contemporaries that are getting up towards their forties, you know, and they're, they're doing desk work and they're on planes and stuff. And it, and it can really shape your body in the wrong direction. So I help that. So I feel that she kind of corrects that and gets it into a more balanced um, mm -hmm. posture, which yeah, is really, yeah. really beneficial. And it, and it helps um, age you lower too. So <laughs> That's true. And you know what? She does say, like, all of us that do the method are not going to be hunched over when we're in our that's, 90s. Like, that's right. we're going to have to test it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll all have to check back in here in, you know, 50 years. <laughs> um, we have a question in the chat from Little Mom Hood Life. And hey. she, she wants to know, what workout did you do during pregnancy? Oh, man. A lot of arm curls of Whataburger. No, <laughs> no, Whataburger is huge in Texas. So I had to give my, you know, uh, Whataburger <laughs> shout out. Uh, but I did, uh, <laughs> I had done uh, the pregnancy project. I was continuing streaming for a while, but it was a little too intense. You know, uh, a little bit of personal information. Uh, my baby was IVF. And so I was very, um, reserved with workouts and you know like I still wanted to keep up everything but I wanted to be very like forgiving and graceful with my movements so um I did pregnancy project and then post-pregnancy okay. uh, and, and they are both both um butt whippers as well <laughs> I mean it's not like it's it's that much toned down it will still give you that muscle structure and, and keep it all in place so that when you are post baby you're ready to ready to roll so it was a lot of fun though. The ch she brought back the chair, she brought back things, you know, that you would kind of <laughs> forgotten about. <laughs> yeah, when you're really into the streaming world, you forget all that paraphernalia. And yeah, the ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things are crazy. I love it. Um, so now what is your routine with streaming? Which workout do you do? And do you ever do dance cardio? I do, yeah, so I used to be religious with dance cardio, like with Meta, right? Like it was 30 and 30, like all day, every day for, you know, several years. Um, I've kind of shied away for from cardio. Um, and it's funny that the question is now, like, do you do cardio, right? Because I, I think a lot of Tamley are, are kind of trimming that out. Um, so I'll do like the, the 15 minute, like low cardio, the low impact, you know, I don't think I've done a full blown cardio in a long time. I do remember I lost in, uh, not insurance. I lost, um, internet access. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had that snowmageddon here yeah. and it was huge. Right. And so I just, um, popped in the DVD and was able to do the old metamorphosis dance and man, <laughs> it came back that muscle memory and I knew what to do and it was awesome. But <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I'll just do the low impact. Uh, and then my overall routine, I had gotten up to intermediate and I don't think that I was really in a mental place where I could keep up. You know, I, I felt like it was more defeating to not be able to do the reps. And so I had gone back to beginner for a long time, okay. probably 
probably about a year and a half, you know, because I was, I was working, I had a toddler and I was just like, you know what, if I can get anything in, but my body still looked good. It looked like it, 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 it was, you know, not at its peak, but it was at a state where I was like, I'm very pleased with what I have, you know, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so I've recently tried to turn it back up to intermediate. Um, and so I'm going to try to stay there. Um, I'll at least do intermediate arms and then mm -hmm. maybe, you know, if I'm short on time, I'll do um, beginner, um, lower half and then do yeah. some add-ons. I love the new stretches. Oh, that yeah. The stretches are fantastic. The evening and the morning, man, I didn't realize that I was very tight, mm -hmm. you know, um, in the hips. So this is helpful for me. Yeah, it's interesting that we can still, you know, have those areas that are tight when we do this workout all the time. It I just, know. I don't know. It makes me think about, like, whether you're just holding tension for, like, some other reason and, you know, kind of looking at it in a different way. And even doing some of the other, like, you know, if it's the ab and spine, those kind of things. Yeah. Well, well and, and I sit, like, I'm doing it right now. I, I'll sit and I would work. And I'll sit cross-legged. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of turning things in and under. And so getting that stretch to really open up the yeah. hip is, is helpful. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I just need to do like feet down, like. <laughs> right. <laughs> no crisscross applesauce for me. We'll try. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, who in the Tamily inspires you? Okay, that's that. Has anybody been able to answer that like point blank? I mean, no, never. It's it's like everybody, right? Like it's. I think it's a collective, you know, like circular. Just, and it seems kind of silly to be like, oh, everybody. But seriously, I mean, everybody is at their individual levels and contributing in different ways. They have their different style. They have their different, the tone and kind of the the vibe that they bring to it. And I think that's what makes it special. I mean, there's definitely, you know, a, a, a dozen or two girls that I'll message with or, you know, that I follow more closely because it'll pop up in my feed. But um, I just think that the magic of the whole family is uh, the whole family is really <laughs> incredible. I do too. Um, have you met anyone from the family in person? I have, well, a few, yeah. We did, um, and y'all keep me straight here. Uh, we did the Dallas Vitality. And that's one where like Penny got super sick and Tracy oh. wasn't able to come down. It was also my sister's wedding. Okay. Um, so I had to bail out a day, you know, early too. And so, uh, but Stacy was there. Oh, um, and, and so, yeah. And so we, we got to meet a group of girls, go to dinner and, and have a, at least one workout. So it was a fun okay. time. I do want to get another one in though. That's for sure. Like maybe Hamptons or something, you know? Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine the second that she announces a vitality week after the year everyone's been through. Like there won't be enough. She's really going to have to do it soon. Or, you know, we can just do meetups everywhere all the time. Yeah. 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 There's, I, I know that there's a couple dozen here in DFW. I just really need to be more active. I used to be so, so active mm -hmm. within, you know, Tamalee and, and you guys can see like in my grid, like I haven't been posting as often and I've just been really busy. My stories are banging. Like I've got <laughs> stories every day, you know, on my personal, right. account, but I just haven't like sat down and like thoughtfully, yeah. like, you know, put it, put something into my grid as recently as I should. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you know, we kind of all go through just sort of ups and downs with it. And, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes you just don't have enough time. Other times it's just too consuming. So it and, and very true. And I put a post up about that of like, I am very, like, I'm an Enneagram three. No. <laughs> but it's, it's, um, it can almost get to the point where I'll get too obsessive about it and too like tuned into it and it, and it detracts or takes away from the actual workout and, and getting, you know, get going in there and getting it done. And it becomes more of a like for the camera and for the posting and for the wrong reasons. And so I'll really have to pull back and re-examine. And so sometimes just doing like daily full video posts is, you know, not going to be my, my flow. Yeah. Yeah. But the family will always be there for you to, you know, come in and out. So yeah, yeah. 
That's what's so great too. Yeah. Um, how did you discover the Tamale on Instagram, especially because you were doing the method like before Instagram even existed? Yeah, yeah. And I've seen like, uh, who was it? Um, Tiffany. And what's her last name? Um, we had somehow found each other. She does the oils, Tiffany. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't um, know her, her Tiffany Ann, but I don't know Ann, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she and I had found each other like back on Instagram somehow, like via hashtag, I think of just Tracy Anderson or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think Tamily hashtag really started with streaming mm -hmm. and, um, streaming was what, 24, like 24 Friday, 2014 ish. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Uh, and then I didn't hop on until like January, 2015. Mm -hmm. So uh, oh no, it started out as TA real time. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, and oh, so I pay back. We should look at that hashtag. <laughs> the evolution of hashtags. <laughs> yeah, especially because now there's like other groups that use our hashtags and then you get all this random stuff in your feed. So oh, well, and there's there's West Coast Tam. I need to start like, do we have a Southern Tamily? Do we have like a DFW Tam or, you know, I don't know. Maybe I can lead up that charge of getting it started. <laughs> For sure. Yes. I mean, especially because now that we've all, you know, been so isolated for the last year, it's like whenever you're traveling and in a town with family, we need yes. to be together. <laughs> yes, yes. And that kind of leads into, I think, another question um, that is, you know, in the in the list. Uh, I have been to a couple studios. So while, <laughs> you know, I've done half of Vitality Week, um, <laughs> Uh, I would travel for my job. I was in healthcare sales. And so I would travel around. I'm in the DFW area here in Dallas, Texas. And um, I would have customers on the West Coast. And so I'd run over there and see them and stay in a hotel for a day or two. And then I would try to hit like a studio city uh, and then Brent with the next day. And there's that little <laughs> lemon right next door. And I'd always treat myself to a pair of leggings um, and, and work out there. So yeah. Oh, so dude, so it's and it, it, yeah, it was such like a treat for me too, because like I would be away from my husband, away from my kid. And it was just like for me and about me, and you know, running out there and doing me. So it was really nice. Um, Will you be traveling for work again, or are you in something else now? I I think so, but I think it will be more like DFW and local. So we'll see. I regardless, I still want to make sure that I get out to the New York location, uh, was it 59 in church or? Yeah, 59. Is it still two? Okay, yeah. Yep. Yep. And then there's there's a Hamptons one. I don't know if it's a full studio or just. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's a tiny bathroom and a studio, but. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like their satellite one or something or mostly yeah. summer or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Well, yeah, there's rounds. I'll Lots hit it up. of trainers that are there in the summer, but absolutely, like, we gotta start planning these trips because I can't stand not having seen Tamlin for so long. I agree. I agree. We all deserve it after that lockdown. So, oh, for sure. Um, so, what did you think of the studio experience and the Vitality experience? Because that wasn't at an actual studio, right? No, well, Vitality was like at a yoga studio in Dallas, and I think that they just kind of rent the space, you know, and um, they couldn't get the heat, you know, to where it could or should be. Um, but the studio experience, man, I mean, that's a whole nother level, right? Like, um, I had been at Studio City before it was redone and then after, so that was fantastic, right? Like, all the like remodeling that they had done. Studio City is a little bit smaller, but it's a little bit more like gritty and like get it done. And like, I love the vibe there. It's really cool. And man, it heats up so hot in there. Um, it's, uh, I had to step away, like, you know, 35 minutes in, I was like, okay, I gotta take a break. Yeah. And then I went back in. Yeah, I, I must've been by the heater. <laughs> no, uh, and then, uh, but I do like the, the Brentwood because it's, it's larger, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you can really spread out and have your space and there's a lot more mirrors and stuff. So if I had to choose one, it would be a tough call, but I think I would choose Brentwood. Okay. 
Yeah. Have you have you been able to jump into a couple? Um, not in not on the west coast, but I've been to the Church Street one. In, okay. But I went right before the 59th Street one opened, so I haven't been to that one. So I okay. definitely want to do a trip and be able to go to that one. It seems so cool. We just yeah need to flip flop. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll get both coasts covered for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you use heat and humidity at home when you work out? Uh, I do. Well, and it was kind of a recent ad, probably, ooh, you know, everything seems like so recent, but then there's like the lost year of COVID. So yeah. uh, it messes with your math, right? Um, so I think that I've been doing heat and humidity for probably two, two and a half years. Um, okay. And I've got these ridiculously expensive humidifiers, but man, they're good. They work. <laughs> um, and then I've got this really fantastic heater and my rationale is that I went, you know, so long without one that I'm just kind of back investing of all those years I didn't have one. So yeah. Yeah. And it, it's really helpful because I have hardwood floors and it's an open room and, you know, it, it's hot here in the summer. So we're blasting the AC and it, you could go in really cold and it, it makes a big difference. You know, I don't think that of course I'm getting quite the same benefit or, the intensity of the studio, but it's, it's a lot more helpful. Have you seen any like particular results that you would notice a difference from when you weren't using heat and humidity until after? I think uh, it gets me in the headspace easier mm -hmm. and better because like you can kind of scroll Instagram or kind of like check out or not be ready. Cause it's like your normal, you know, atmosphere. It's like when my body feels the heat and you're like, Oh, okay, it's time to get to business. So, that's kind of something I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, uh, yeah, just kind of, I, I feel more limber and that I can stretch and, and get to it quicker rather than warming up during arms. I feel like I'm already, you know, warm. So. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Cause that really happens, especially at the studio. Like you're developing a sweat before the class begins. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it really gets you into it. It gets you going. Yeah, for sure. And it kind of gets you like, like she's saying, gets you in that survival, you know, mode of like, you're, you're so hot, you're so sweaty, and you're ready, and you just have to make it work, right? And it, it stretches, you know, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Right. And that's really like a mental element that helps push you farther. Absolutely. And that's something that I think, you know, I mean, the only person I've ever heard talk about it is Tracy. But yeah. to say, like, you actually have to be okay with feeling uncomfortable to yeah. have exercise that will result in health benefits. Like, right. you can't think it's going to feel perfect the whole time, but we're right. all so used to being so comfortable with right. air condition and, you know, every little luxury that we have that, like, some people think they're dying just because, like, it's a little bit of... Well, but our our body is telling us that we're dying. Like our left brain, you know, is, is trying to survive and it's sending signals, you know? And so that's, that's basically what we're up against. Yeah. Yeah. But when you power through, you realize all of the benefits. That's, yeah. That's the best feeling. It really is. Cause in, in the moment you're like, Oh God, how am I going to do this? But then afterwards you're like, Oh God, I did that. You know? Mm -hmm. So, so, um, Lindsay, especially with how long you've been doing the method, what would be your advice to someone who's brand new? Man, you know, it can be a little confusing. I think that there's a lot of content. Um, and I don't mean to say that we're a little culty, but like we're, you know, we definitely have like our, our, our family or family, we've got, you know, and there's like a, its own lingo. It's our own. Yeah. So it can be very disoriented to somebody coming in. Mm -hmm. Um, and in preparation, I was kind of watching some of the other girls videos and it's, you know, I think that we're all here to help each other. And so just kind of messaging, I know that we've got a, an awesome Facebook group and then on Instagram, you know, there's a lot of comments and, um, uh, messages exchanged and also like her her uh, studio team and even Tracy are pretty accessible you know via email even direct message sometimes you can I talked to Tracy a couple times in, in a DM and I'm like who does that that's fantastic you know 
Um, so I think just really to not be overwhelmed and kind of lean on those people that, you know, that you might admire. Cause I think that we all kind of connect or vibe with somebody within the family, right? Like there might be somebody that's way over here, way over here. And I think that you can kind of gravitate towards somebody that you kind of identify with, whether it's personally, physically or whatever. So just keep at it. If you, and I'll go back to this, to our fun, you know, if, if you can do something for 10 days, I would say just hang in there and stick with it for 10 days and um, yeah. don't give up and just go all in for those 10 days. And once you get past that kind of hump, you'll see results and that'll kind of be the spark that gets you going. Yeah, that's definitely a good point because I think, well, really for any workout, but especially with this workout, it's a little different. There's no talking, like, you know, mm -hmm. there are things to get used to and you shouldn't make a decision about it, like just trying it once or twice. Like right. you might not have your rhythm yet. So if you do just go ahead and dedicate. And I actually oh. know in Tracy's magazine, there's a three week three free trial instead of a two week. So what? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. On the last page. So three weeks. I mean, that's a long yeah. time to have it yeah. for free. So well, and there's so, there's so much content. I mean, now there's like the the men's, you know, and the stretching yeah. and cardio. I mean, I, again, it seems like a lot, but those of us that have been doing it, like this is fantastic. We're like, oh yeah. my gosh, option. You know, uh, yeah. she's she's always serving us things that will serve us and balance us, but it's always just so exciting to get new toys and new treats and just things that she, you know, provides for us. Yeah, absolutely. It's unbelievable to think there was a time when streaming only had one class. I know. Like, <laughs> I know. It's just crazy. It was, and, and I remember at the time I was like, oh my gosh, this is intense. You know, it was yeah. like, what, what did she have equated to? Was it like, fundamental or you know advanced what was it like equivalent to i think that the initial class was supposed to be equivalent to advanced but yeah. i feel like it's equivalent to intermediate and or then like hybrid maybe yes yeah. yeah and then she added the beginner i think not that long maybe after streaming started right but at first it was just i guess like what you would say is attained from the studio sort yeah. of but I remember some of the girls were like oh this is the direct studio content you know mm -hmm. those that lived close or whatever yeah yeah it's yeah but I mean even... back, all the different iterations you know absolutely and it just seems like I don't know it just keeps kind of leveling up but yeah. there there are so so many options so if someone can't do something there is some you know, combination that you can do, or, yeah. you know, start with parts of things. Like yeah. it definitely is flexible. If you can get, yeah, 12 minutes in and then work up to 17 and then, you know, just kind of ease into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all doable, but you have to do the work, you know. Right. So. And consistency is really the most important thing. Like just do not having a perfect workout, but having a workout. Yeah as frequently as possible. See, and that's me. It's like, if I can just get upstairs and not be judgmental of, you know, the full extension, or if I'm not getting all the reps in, if I can just go through the practice of going through the motions of getting up there and getting something in, even if I'm having the worst week ever, mm -hmm. just going through and, you know, it can be as crappy as ever, but hey, I did it and the next one will be better, you know? <laughs> there is always tomorrow. Have you faced any challenges in doing the method? Um, you know, I, I think that it kind of ebbs and flows with motivation, you know, like personal life and, and things happen. Um, I, I've been traveling too, you know, and, and you kind of have to work around and find things for that. But I don't think that I've ever really strayed from the method more than like, two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I haven't worked out in like five days or something like it's, you know, I'm always getting something in. Mm -hmm. um, but not, I mean, not overtly, I think if, if I do struggle, it's all kind of in my own head. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of limiting beliefs and barriers that I impose on myself or judgment or something, you know, because I'm probably 
premenstrual or, you know, whatever it might be. So I think that we all kind of just kind of ebb and flow with it and, and digging deep and I'll have a couple of bad weeks and then I'll be right back on track. So is there a move um, that you used to hate, which you now love? Uh, what, uh, yeah, but do we really have names for them? I guess, you know, you're on your side and you're getting one leg up. And I just didn't know really how to weight transfer there. Mm -hmm. um, and so now I'm able to, you know, really balance it out on my arm and engage my core and then just really drill into this outer side. So um, coming out of metamorphosis, I had done abcentric. And so I was really like, oh, oh, all about the ab exercises. Because I had that misconception of like, you just got to do more crunches. And, you know, mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily the case. So um, I really like the, the, the form that this, that streaming is taking, that it's more of kind of a, a feminine, like curvy, you know, mm -hmm. body versus um, metaphor, metamorphosis. Um, was teeny tiny and kind of a little boxy in certain areas. And so I like how this is giving you um, the new, the new, you know, evolution is kind of more curvy and, and muscular, but not overly muscular, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. There's no super cut muscles in this uh -huh. method, but uh, definitely healthy and strong. Yeah, yeah. Um. Have you received any advice from anyone in the Tamily which has been impactful to you? You know, I, I mean, yes, there's been a lot of like DMs exchanged and, you know, just like encouraging words and comments and everybody's really fantastic. Um, a lot of, a lot of you guys were really great, you know, post-pregnancy, there's hormones flying and emotions everywhere. And, and you guys were really fantastic during that time. Um, and I think also just the added, um, Tracy talks at the end, that was, that's really cool, you know, because yeah. you, you do this hard work and leave it all on the mat and then you kind of have this breakdown and, and decompression mm -hmm. time to kind of talk about what you did and what you're going to be doing for the week. So mm -hmm. I think kind of the combination of both has really mm -hmm. been, really been good for me. Yeah. Those little things can give like, just, you know, some tidbits. I mean, it's almost like how she talks at a vitality week or something. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, it makes me think about the days of streaming when she said nothing at all. <laughs> and it would just oh. be work out and it's over. I know. I love that I, because it, it humanizes it in such a way. And not that she's not, of course. I mean, she is kind of super human, you know, but, uh, but it, it, it feels like, you know, after you just did something very exciting with a friend, like you want to talk about it and break it down or whatever, you know, and so it, it kind of builds that connection of uh, sharing something with somebody. So it's, it's really cool. And, and it's weird that you can get that kind of connection through the screen. You know, it's, I don't know how she does it, but she can do it. So she totally does. And it's almost sometimes that she's really like talking directly to us when she's like, you know, you should be in your correct lane. I'm like, Tracy, I know. You know? <laughs> I felt convicted several times and during her post talks for sure. <laughs> um, have you converted anyone to being a dedicated Tamer? Man, I, yeah, I think I'll post about it. And I think that people will be curious and I'm willing to share whatever, but mm -hmm. I don't want to like push it on people and kind of be, you know, a weirdo about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want anybody to think it's like an MLM or like, it, you know, <laughs> right, but, uh, but yeah, I've had a couple of girlfriends, you know, over the years try, I don't know if they've been able to keep up with the consistency or, you know, just really dive in. I think that they've had other life things kind of going on, but I mean, I'm willing to, to talk about it and share with any and everybody really. So I think that's a good point too, kind of about what you were saying for people that are new it can sometimes seem intimidating because of course mm -hmm. there's people who can do the workout perfectly and they look perfect and we talk to each other in that language of IMC and DC and people might not know what the heck we're talking about but anyone will really answer a question like yeah, you know, yeah. You can really reach out to anyone in the family yeah. And, and at any level too, right? Like I feel like there's our all stars that are, you know, above and beyond. And, and, uh, and then you've got 
the begin other beginners that are that you can commiserate with and uh, everybody in between so mm -hmm. yeah there's somebody for everybody it reminds me of the girl got your back thing right we yeah. had promotion that was or not for that you know uh contest or whatever you would say yeah, yeah. i guess it turned out to be a contest but then a lot of us like still stuck together with that group of two or four and yep. so it's all these little things that started out as something and then grew into something else and it's just really cool yeah it really is it's unbelievable the connections it, yeah um, so we have a question from wonder woman tam she says that you post a lot about your family does your husband also do the method and has he tried the new men's content? No. Well, okay. So yes and no. Um, on back in the day with metamorphosis, I have these super embarrassing videos. In case he ever crosses me, I've got some good blackmail of him doing the dance cardio and he's in these leggings and a tank top. So, Oh my gosh. And then he was like, oh, it's too hard for me, you know, and he kind of bailed out after a couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, I told him, I was like, hey, there's this new men's, you know, uh, program up. And he was like, all right, cool, I'll try it. Sometimes he'll sneak up there and like do the arms with me because um, he's similar. Like he does a lot of computer work and he'll do like, you know, muscle, like, you know, men's exercises, but then to like have it out and turn yeah. up doing these unique things, he's like, wow, I can really see. So he yeah. definitely has exposure and has an appreciation, but I just haven't been able to hook him yet. Fully. <laughs> tough. It's definitely tough. Yeah. I've been trying with my husband too. I don't think it's ever going to work. He's Tam um, curious though. He's Tam curious. <laughs> <laughs> so what does the rest of your family and your friends think of the method and your dedication to it? I, um, you know, it's funny, I'll, I'll take it and do it on vacation. And people are like, well, you work out on vacation. I'm like, yeah, we, I mean, uh, so I think actually working out, you know, kind of became more of a phenomenon over the past, like three to five years, right. And like, we were all doing it like 10 years ago, when it was mm -hmm. like for our health and, and, you know, for different reasons. And now it's kind of like the fad and cool thing to do or um, and, and which is great, you know, we all should be healthy and taking care of our bodies. But, um, so I think for a while it was, you know, I was kind of like out there weird or whatever, and now it's just kind of common practice, you know, to be healthy or working out or eating well. Um, but yeah, my, uh, there's a couple of videos of like my son, like, you know, and he's three trying to do it with me and he's on his hands and knees and doing like extensions and stuff. And so I'm trying to indoctrinate him early, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think that overall, like uh, over time, you know, the perception has kind of changed of like, wow, that's weird. Wow. She's really out there to kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody works out these days. So yeah yeah that's definitely a good transition and it's so good too for your kids to be able to see that yeah. their parents are invested in their health i mean i think that's something that just sticks in their mind and you know it, it can have a good influence and i'll tell you what like i don't think that i would have been able to be as active and mentally focused with a toddler i mean mm -hmm. you guys have toddlers that you know that are watching and um there are a lot of work. I mean, we, we live in a two story house and when, you know, before he was able to do stairs, I was carrying it up and down the stairs, you know, four times mm -hmm. a day. And like, it was a lot of work. And so to be able to squat and be on the ground and mobile and, you know, very, um, reflexive, uh, to, to Oh no, don't touch that. Or, you know, save him for whatever, you know, like yeah. you have to be very mobile. And, uh, so I think that, you know, I talked about posture earlier, but I think also it prepares you to be able to squat and roll and do all these things that you need to be doing as a parent as well. So, and then it kind of lines you up for this, this ability and um, road for health so that you can continue. I'm kind of an older mom, right? Like I'll be 38 in January with a three year old. So I want to be able to be a healthy mom for him as he ages as well. So yeah. I and it's beautiful. It's just all connected. Totally. You know. Um, how do you fit your workout routine into your life, especially knowing that you have work and you have a three-year-old? Um, how would you describe being able to keep that routine? Well, and it's been really difficult this past year because 
we we don't have him in school um you know or a daycare or anything we had a nanny for a little bit but we had to lay her you know uh, let her go during covid and so for about a year and a half and we still to this day are keeping him by ourselves so it's me and my husband just ping-ponging him back and forth we'll look at our schedules and be like i've got conference calls here um you take him and i'll take him so it's kind of day dependent but usually it's like you know on a morning that Brandon has him, my husband, and then, so it's, it's like a morning and I'll get up and hopefully I'll maybe like do a walk in the neighborhood, listen to a podcast or some music and then go back and do some muscle structure and then, then be ready for my shift and then do work. And it's, it's really been a long year, but so he'll be starting school in August. And so okay. we'll get a bit of a break. So I imagine that my routine will change. So we'll probably get up, drop him off and then shout, you know, work out and shower so yeah it's definitely been an interesting year for routines for sure yeah yeah and and there's been several like late night workouts so i might start at nine o'clock mm -hmm. you know it just uh and then with the stretches too like it also kind of gives me i don't want to say a free pass but like if my day's just been completely hectic you, I, I know that i can still give myself that gift Mm -hmm. at the end of the day and just kind of like some mental piece of like okay well at least I'm getting some stretching in some movement you know some self-care and we'll make tomorrow better you know yeah I like how you think about that of giving yourself a gift like it's so much better to think that way than to think of like the you know I should be punished because I didn't yeah. work or you know I have to at least get something done to think about it's just really time to connect with your physical body and your mind and yeah. take care of yourself. Yeah, it's super important. I, I think that uh, for me, if I go to, and if I go too many days um, without moving or working out, like I start to really feel it. Like I'll get sad or anxious um, and unfocused and um, just movement and working out, you know, really give me kind of that clarity and peace. So definitely. Yeah. Um, so I haven't been asking this question much for the last few months, but I'm going to ask you okay. because we're on, we're on a new trajectory now Yeah. is, do you have any tips for doing TAM while traveling since hopefully we're all going to be traveling and very soon? Man. You know, post COVID, I don't know, but pre COVID, I'm used to, and I think I keep bringing up May Bella's because I just watched hers like in preparation. Um, but yeah, like similarly, I used to take my computer and then pop in the DVD and have my three pound weights. Um, and then I had like my shaker cup with like a, you remember when she had the shakes? Yes. And I would pre measure it into a bag, you know. And the bars, like, the bars were so good. It was, like, a chocolate mint. And I understand, like, her view now on bars, you know, it's kind of yeah. changed. But um, so uh, to me, I guess any tips would just be pack everything the night before and just be sure that you kind of have your, your checklist of things that you are, are going to need. And then by the time you get there, you know, it'll all kind of be laid out. I will say that also, you just kind of got to make it work. Like I didn't bring a mat, so I'd work out on a towel or yeah. I'd bring weights and I'd use water bottles like she had said back in the day. Like, so again, like just whatever works. A lot of the times I've gone down to the hotel gym and stolen some of their equipment and brought it back up and then I'll just leave it there. And the probably housekeeping is like, what is this? And then right. I'll take it back down. But um, yeah, I'll swipe their stuff and, and uh, use it too. So that's always a, a last case scenario if you need to. <laughs> I always find that hotels have the five pound weights, but not the crazy. Yeah. Like I would love hotels to have a little Tracy kit for all of us who yeah. are traveling around. You know, and I think Weston, that brand Weston is starting to introduce like fitness packages or fitness rooms. Okay. Uh, where they like provide like things on the front end. So I haven't stayed in one of those yet, but I'd be interested to try that out. Yeah, uh, I know, of course, headphones. Uh, there was a discussion recently, and these are what I use are those Beats. Mm -hmm. So those are my favorite. And I like them because they wrap around the ear mm -hmm. right? versus like the. Right, definitely. Feel a little more secure. 
Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's, I use it on the plane to like listen to audiobooks or whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's good for Tam by the time you get there. So, um, what do you have a motivational quote that you would like to share with the family? Oh, man. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian, and so there's a lot of verses, you know, that are important to me. Um, uh, so I'm thinking like Philippians 4.13, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And, uh, but I think also there's just, um, so I'll do, I'll do Bible studies and things like that. But I think that also quote wise, I mean, I love um, John Maxwell. I love uh, Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't know that it's necessarily like a specific quote, but there are just like certain thought leaders mm -hmm. that I like to follow. Uh, Greg Rochelle, mm -hmm. um, Daniel Hardy, just a lot of like podcasts and nonfiction mm -hmm. influencers. So yeah, I, I can't really pick one out. I can't, you know, it's difficult, so. Well, we have to have a lot of inspiration. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, what is something important to you in your life that you would want the family to know? Hmm. Um, I don't um, I'm actually a little shy. Um, and if you don't ever see me on, you know, if, if I'm not up to date or like making these really long, like mm -hmm. titles and, or, uh, captions, sometimes I just don't know, you know, I don't have the headspace to write out something fully. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm an open book really. Like, so, you know, if, if anybody wants to know anything, I, I just, I usually don't like overshare. I know that there's a lot of girls that like, you know, can just tap out like, you know, three paragraphs and like, I try like, but I feel like really exposed when I do that. So I don't typically, but um, I can usually do better in like small groups and one on one than I do just like sharing everything with everybody. So yeah, I usually just type some complaint about how difficult it was to <laughs> yeah. like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm like, that was a lot of clicks. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll have to do that then. I'll just be like, woo. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what a Tuesday and then <laughs> yeah yeah okay I like that <laughs> um how do you feel immediately following a workout uh good yeah uh I mean that's like my my dopamine right like we got to get that in so I feel accomplished and clear and ready to start the day um I feel like once I get that under my belt there's this like heightened confidence and just you know you can just get it done afterwards. So, uh, and even my evening workouts too, I, I feel like accomplished. I'm like, yeah, I got that in, you know? So, uh, I just, uh, I really like it, you know? Yeah. Whatever time it is, it gives you that definitely that feeling of confidence. Yeah. Well, and the playlists too are so important. You know, I know that she's got her playlist that she plays and then there's some girls that add stuff on Spotify. And then I've always ventured off and kind of done my own playlist too. So um, I think music is, is just super powerful, right? And can yeah. activate, activate certain emotions and activate certain things within us. And I think, I know that Tracy said that too, like it'll be like some, some music that we don't like or some hardcore like trance music and she's like yeah that's the difficult part you just got to move through it you know right. so yeah mine, inspires mine probably won't have that in trance <laughs> in it but i you know but i yeah i love creating playlists and, and and doing music with it is there a particular kind of music that you like the most for working out man i like a lot of everything i really do like uh what have i been listening to recently I'll need to post it. I'll need to share it. Yeah. It's, it's kind good. of a mix. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I love, I stuff love listening to other people's playlists and see what they think is inspiring for their workouts. Me too. Somebody had just done like a nineties or like early two thousands playlist on Spotify. And I was like, yeah, this is like, cause it was stuff that I hadn't heard in forever. 
Uh, and I was like, this is really cool. Yeah, because I didn't have to put in the effort. And it was like a pleasant, right. a pleasant surprise of like all these songs that like brought me back, you know? Yeah, I think for some reason, it's like, whatever emotion the, you know, song is going to bring up, it happens so much stronger if you're not expecting what is yeah. going to be next. Like, so I'm even if it's a playlist with stuff that I want to skip, I still like trying other people's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I need to branch. I, I, and what it is, is I pay for Pandora and Apple Music, and everybody's mm -hmm. posting to Spotify. So uh -huh. I think that I might just, you know, take the bullet or bite the bullet and just get yeah. Spotify premium, you know? Yeah, yeah, we should all try to unite on one. Yeah. <laughs> one <Yeah>. platform. <laughs> we need to figure it out. Well, I don't think that you can build playlists in Pandora. Like, I love Pandora okay. because I it in the background for work or music or chores and um and spotify seems more like on demand what song you want whenever it's similar yeah. to apple music yeah yeah we should definitely unite on spotify it would be my vote since yeah that's i'll join you there yeah <laughs> um so we're approaching almost the end of our interview but i do have a few more questions for you and I think we've asked everything in the chat so okay. if anybody has anything else please type it in now um can you tell us about your first post to Instagram as a family member no <laughs> no but I I can't think that far I mean it has been about 10 years actually actually it was Twitter and I'm not even that active on Twitter but it was like okay day one Tracy Anderson here we go and her old Twitter name was um, at Go Tracy. Really? Oh my yeah. gosh! Wow. So I and uh, so that was I think my first Tracy post on Twitter, but Instagram. I don't know. I uh, forgot that she had a Twitter, but I used to follow her on Twitter. I think it changed. I, it was at Go Tracy. It was weird. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, because it changed. Yeah. Um, but I'll have to go back and look at that. It's yeah, it's like been a long and fun journey because I've got my my handle for Tracy Anderson. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I have kind of a personal handle and they're both pretty much the same. But my personal handle goes back, you know, all the way with, since I started Instagram in like 2008 or something. I mean, it was a long time ago, right? And so I didn't start my second handle until like 20 13, whenever, yeah, probably 14 when streaming came about, so. Wow, that is so long ago. I can remember, like, thinking, I don't, I'm not going to have an Instagram. I'm an adult. And then now, people are like, Instagram is for old people. So. I know, I know. First it was Facebook, and now it's Instagram, and they're just crumpling these up and throwing them away, and I'm not ready. Like, maybe no. Facebook. Maybe, maybe, but like Instagram, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> no, because it's where the family is. Like, yeah. Unless we get some other platform that can do all of this stuff, we have to have it. Right. But at well, least we preserve Ask Tamily on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that, that'll be our second pact is we'll, we'll move to Spotify and then we'll keep Instagram. Yes. So, I'd love to know everybody. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so we do have just a couple of minutes left. Can you tell us a little bit more about where you live and what you do? Yeah. Um, so I am here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, in a small town called Argyle, like the Sox. Huh. <laughs> and um, uh, we, I actually went to school uh, at UT Arlington, so it's kind of like the little stepsister school of UT Austin. We're like the short horns versus long horns. And uh, uh, where do I, wait, where do I live and what? What do you do? And what do, so that's kind of a, a story. Um, I worked in healthcare sales at my last job for about eight years. And like within the last two weeks, I have just quit my job. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I, it's, I, it's, it's been like a big, it started to get to the point where it was very stressful and like not serving me in the way that I want. So, uh, but it was also very comfortable, right? Um, and so I kind of had to make the tough decision of, you know, do I stay here, be comfortable, plateau, or do I go ahead and cut my losses, 
be grateful for what I did experience um, and then move on. And so I'm kind of in this transition period. Um, I'm going to, my plan is to kind of eat, pray, love during the summer, um, spend a bunch of time uh, with Maxwell, decompress from my last, you know, high stakes, you know, job, and then just kind of uh, take it from there. I imagine that I'll go back to work, but you never know what God has planned for you. So um, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Excellent. That would be great. Yeah. You like you're going to have a lovely summer with Maxwell. I think so. I think so. We're in, and if you guys want to look at my stories under my personal account, Lindsay, all right. Um, we're always up to something. So like I said, my grid might be slow, but my stories are Topping. <laughs> yeah, those are easier to post. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> much easier. They're very much in the moment. Yeah. Um. So for uh, probably our last question, what is something you would want to share with the family that you're most proud of? Hmm. I think and this is going to sound really like airy, but I, I think just growth, you know, I think that over the past, I'm straightening up my camera. I think over the past 10 years since I started, um, there's been a lot of life changes, right? You know, if I'm, if I'm 37 now, I started when I was 27 and those are some pretty formative years, right? You're kind of figuring out a lot of things about life. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm just really proud of, um, the, the investments that I've made in people and kind of the growth and, and just the, the change over time. And so, um, and kind of seeing the fruit of, of, of that investment. And so my plan is just to kind of keep up that, that course and, um, just keep my eyes and hands open, ready for the next, you know, thing. So I know that was kind of, you know, airy, but, but that's, it's, you know, it's very inspirational, actually. Like, that is what we all should, you know, think about is growth. It's not always like a journey to a destination. It's about the journey. Yeah, yeah. I like the way you put that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay, for being Interview 153. This has been a Yay! Time. And if I'm ever in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we'll have to have a Tamley meetup. Yes, please. Yay. Okay. Okay, excellent. Well, your interview is going to go onto the Ask Family page right now. And then in a few days, it'll be on YouTube. Okay, very cool. Thank, Thank you, you guys. so much, Lizzie. Have Thank a great weekend, family. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.